I'm going to weld with Longevity's uh, MIG Weld 250 MP. Uh, I like the machine and it's really easy to, uh, to change settings with. So I can run uh, MIG and stick with this. So this is the, the machine I'm going to run today. So the different makeups of these rods are uh, 6010 is a high cellulose sodium, 6011 is a high cellulose potassium, uh, 6013 is a high titanium potassium, and the 7018 is a um, iron powder low hydrogen rod. Here's the four different rods, 6010, 6011, 6013, 7018, vastly different compositions of flux on all these four rods. Now this is just ink that uh, is rubbed off, faded off, uh, and when it disappears you uh, you won't know what this rod is anymore. So store them together like rods together. Another factor uh, regarding these rods is their polarity and the 6010 is DC positive, um, 6011 is DC positive, DC negative AC, makes it a very versatile rod. The 6013 is a DC positive AC and the 7018 is DC positive AC. So uh, if your welds are coming out badly, you might, it's possible that you're running in the wrong polarity. So you can see how the fluxes react differently, 6010, 6011, 6013, 7018, fast freeze, fast freeze, the flux is only on there uh, to cool the puddle very briefly. So this is a great penetrating rod, uh, but you can see the flux, it, it reacts completely different than the 7018. So this is, freezes the puddle where you're welding is a good penetrating rod. Um, you wouldn't run this to uh, in cover passes, the welded look ridiculous. All the spatter came from these two rods. So these fast freeze rods protect the puddle briefly and then you move on and this is a great penetrating rod but it does run cold and it does stick a lot. The 60, uh, 13 and 7018 are fill rods, um, especially the 7018. So these rods protect the puddle uh, in a different manner and, and you can see how the, what their protection is. You can see from those welds how vastly different the flux protection is for the weld and what it aims to achieve. So choose the right flux, the right rod when you're welding and, you know, uh, and your results should be fine. The rods are made for specific different reasons and, and it, to run the wrong rod in the wrong application, you'll give yourself nothing but trouble. Uh, so. Uh, you know, experience is the teacher. Learn from uh, learn from others. Watch uh, informational videos. Um, but uh, just a short, brief video on fluxes, what they do, how they cover the puddle. Uh, thanks for watching today at Longevity's Learning Lab. Hope you learned something.